Hello there guys, welcome to another video and today we're gonna install multitasking Microsoft DOS 4, it was never released but it's pretty cool so we gotta give it a try so Microsoft, oh, um, I forgot to click so I was typing somewhere else deep Microsoft DOS 4 so let's call it that we can go with that BIOS. Let's get a faster CPU though, just in case. And more RAM. After all, we're gonna multitask. It's from 1985, so that's a very unrealistic amount of RAM, but I couldn't bother much. So VGA, Voodoo graphics, which does, doesn't make sense. But hey, it's just a test rig. It's not like it's a, a 1985 system. It's just a rig where we can install the system so apparently it works on the bios and the ram and you know so that's the point because old systems are a little boring to emulate kind of hard to deal with honestly i ain't got time to learn that so let's just use uh a more recent system which is also old it's from the 90s so you know What's the difference? 80s, 90s, all the same. GK. <laughs> Don't get triggered. It's, it's not it's not for you. I'm just just kidding. Anyway, let's make a new hard drive. It has to be pretty small. Let's go with 20 megabyte. It doesn't have to be any bigger than that. Let's call it M Taskin. That's a good name, documents. Yeah, that's good. Let's save the documents. Okay. I think we do have everything set. We're good to go. So let's power up the system. Let's far fire this baby boy. It fires up pretty quickly as you can see. And now we have to go to the hard drive detection. Let's go with the first disk. Then we can skip them all because we just have one disk. That's great. Standard. Let's change that page down to change that. By the way, if you guys are wondering, we do have G360 drives, 525, and now we can finally save and exit. First of all, let's add system disk in there, which, uh, where is it? Microsoft DOS disk number one, and then we can finally. Are we gonna be able to multitask though? That's why I'm wondering. Probably not, because the commands might be very hard to learn. Okay, uh, current date, yeah, the date's right, the time is right as well, and it takes me to this black screen. Okay, so let's see if we do have a setup screen, which I don't think we do. So we have to just, uh, let's, uh, let's cd bin. Okay, there we go, cd command works, that's great. Let's copy. Check disk, swapper, format, F disk. Let's use F disk to make a partition. So, yeah, Microsoft does partition. System will now restart. That's okay. I don't mind it restarting. Not at all. So, let's wait. It's going to ask us. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's right. Now we can just go CD bin. And it does take us straight to the bin folder where we can finally format C. I'm just gonna ask if we wanna format. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wanna format. Let's see how long it's gonna take. As you can see, CPU is not being a bottleneck anymore as it was in previous video. It was a nightmare with 25. Now with twice as much, it just went very very fast so uh, uh, I know how am I supposed to install that I'm just gonna assume it's just like with uh, Microsoft DOS 2 and 3 which has no setup screen it has to be done manually which I can do so let's let's do sys c and see if it works Apparently, yeah, ah, there you go. So the commands are the same, which is pretty decent. So let's make a DOS folder. Now we're gonna 
copy the files in there. Make sure it's all. Uh, DOS. Just got it wrong. So it's gonna get files in there. All the system files. Just 12 of them. Okay, it's a very lightweight system as you can see. So let's make sure to get command.com to the root. There you go. All right, one files. I think there is a second disk though, which we gotta get in there right now. So disk number two. Let's let's list volume in drive A. So you gotta make sure to get it all. A uh, slash C dos, and it's gonna get all the files in there. All of them. A bunch of them files, which is a very, very slow process, as you can see. And now I assume it's installed. I could be wrong. Let's. It's there. I'm so used to Linux. Okay, so we have a DOS folder. Oh, there you go. Directory. The files are in there. So I must. Uh, I'll assume it's all set. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. We're about to figure out that together so fingers crossed we're gonna get the disk out and uh, we're gonna perform a hard reset so fingers crossed and let's just hope for the best is it gonna take us straight to multitasking Microsoft does it does we have Microsoft DOS 4.0 installed look at that ain't that the most amazing site ever. Command cannot find a hard error handler. So that's uh we got a few files missing. Maybe it's cause the system's a beta and it never got released. It was it was something that was gonna be pretty big, but Microsoft was like, holy shit, we don't need multitasking, we need Windows. So let's focus on Windows One and Windows Two and so on and let's abandon multitasking DOS which well maybe it was a mistake maybe it was not a mistake maybe, maybe things would have been different with multitasking DOS but all in all you know you know what happened so yeah it's installed we have the system let's see if we can execute a few commands uh, oh sh it doesn't like invalid what do you mean excuse me it was working before. Why is it not working now? Um, uh, I'm assuming it's C slash DOS. We gotta no slash DOS. No, it's not. Great. Oh, we it, it does uh, actually take us to the folder. It was just that it doesn't show it up anymore. Like it was with A, because he had a clue, the tip like A and the folder that we were inside. That's kind of cool. I wouldn't say oh, better than it was, but that's all right. So we got the system installed. That was the video. That was the the main goal of the video. So we got it installed. It works. As you guys can see, it's pretty simple, and I hope it helped. I sadly don't have any clue on how to operate that, so the video is not gonna be any more than just how to install it, because. I mean, I wish I had the know-how, you know, but I don't from now. I plan to study a little bit about Microsoft DAWs and learn how to actually do those fancy tricks. But given uh, I don't quite, so let's just end by here. And uh, yeah, goodbye, my dudes. If you guys have any questions, comment, comment sections down below. Leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, take care. Because... Goodbye, boys.